Hi, I'm Patrick Reed from the Adamus Principal, and I'm going to give you a little wrap uh, of my thoughts on, on the current narrative, which for me and remains to be the US dollar. So the first thing is, you know, there are four key reasons why I'm still bullish dollar. The first one is 10-year yields cracked 3% and it's staying above, it's closing above the key levels of 3%. I think the high is 311 Okay, so that's the first reason. The second reason, this is very much a PCE and CPI play. This is still in full effect. On that note, the slight miss on CPI in the US was a breather and that nothing else. Yeah. So in addition to that, the third thing, it was how the dollar reacted on non-farm payroll. You know, Mr. Market was not bothered on a, on a, on a big miss. Why? We're at full capacity. In addition to that, the Fed always and often looks at the three-month average, which is actually still, uh, still absolutely fine. The fourth and final thing why I'm still bullish on the dollar is the Eonia curve. Um, it has been repriced from June 19 to December 19, or it's getting there. As I blogged on LinkedIn, this had been far too aggressive. It didn't match the PMIs and the CPIs on the euro leg. This is slowly catching up. The final thing on the, on the euro leg of this is Draghi, I'm still doubtful he's going to fire the rate path gun before the end of his tenure, which is, let's remember, December 19. And that's where the curve is, 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 is getting to. Um, so the big question for me is, can this go further? Yes, it can. Let's move on to the first and second slide actually. This is cable. Um, so I just want you to have a look at that yellow line. Cable has been very difficult to trade. Um, it's come off a long, long way. Um, seven, eight big figs. I want you to just have a look at the, the, the yellow line. It's the 200 day moving average. What does this mean? Well, it means that buyers and sellers are very comfortable around this level. If, um, if they're comfortable, price slows down. And look, look at the, look at the actual, um, look at the way it's chopped. Do you want to be trading this? No, absolutely not. Um, look for, um, it, basically, it's indecision, and I would look for some meaningful break and then trade it. But again, I would only be wanting to get short around those, you know, around the top of that moving average. Um, at the moment, the market is indecisive, a bit like me sometimes. Moving on to the next slide. So this is interesting. Um, a good narrative that's just come out is the Italian, um, you know, doubts about this 250-yard um, forgiveness. Um, this, this shows the spread between the Eurozone periphery 10-year yields and the German 10-year debt, i.e. the Bunds, ticking up especially Spain and especially Italy. Um, this is a, a bit of a cause of concern. I think it's temporary. Um, Italian banks are very much in debt and Italy's kind of a bit of a mess. However, the market, it's no Greece. You know, they're not really uh, a concern for me or the market. Um, although that did kick uh, the euro down a peg or two, it, you know, it, it wasn't sustained, it wasn't that s substantial. Um, the bottom line, I think, in all of this, especially cable to wrap, is, you know, when in May, stay away, and Teresa is not the only reason.